Well, here we are at number 11, Promoter of Behavioral Examples. How the, the, pro, the promoter of successful events needs to set uh, an ethical and behavioral example because people can go into the resonance of the organizer. Um, and that um, means there's quite some responsibility. For example, you know, the organizer should arrive early ask people to arrive early um, you know, and be focused. Um, you know, one time, um, you know, as I'd always ask people to arrive at 8.30, there was nobody there, so I was just packing up to go home at 9.30. And uh, it just so happened the uh, promoter arrived with the uh, people at 9.30. She just decided um, to change the time, and her explanation was people need to learn flex flexibility. So what I don't require is for um, promoters to decide what I need to learn, especially in terms of uh, making a complete mess of when the event will start, because um, the way I will work is that people need to learn to not only make changes in various dimensions and emotional changes, but to learn to use those changes in the practical world, you know, which includes starting on time. Uh, this partly happens because many organizers are very afraid of um, results, especially if they are um, um, in the role of some type of um, uh, therapists because most types of therapy are based on unproven dogma such as uh, now you have to feel bad now because you felt so badly treated when you were a little and uh, you know there's a whole series of theories based on what decides how you feel none of which I actually use because I do effective trainings um, you know, so the therapist does not need to, or the promoter does not need to do any education as to um, uh, why the, um, the rules of the organization should be um, broken on change because people follow this um, bad example. Another part that's very important of setting an example is um, that when in the room there is about to be a large change, there is some like feeling of wanting to escape and uh, a, di a poorly disciplined organizer will rush to go and have a cup of coffee. Oh, I just want coffee. No, they don't want coffee. They are rushing, they're escaping, they're terrified of a result. Just before a result happens, they will get this feeling and what they do is sit still. Um, there should be no such thing ever uh, as the organizer doesn't kind of like feel comfortable so they start playing with pieces of cake and coffee uh, because other people will follow this completely crazy example um, you know wrecking the results of um, people in the room uh, if in doubt sit still if in doubt close, close the mouth in d d doubt the organizer will set an example by sitting still and showing staying still facing what's going on um, the, other, the alternative, of course, is that there's no particular reason for organizers to be in the room most of the time. They usually prefer to be in the room just for their own reasons, because it's interesting. Um, they actually would be more used to production if they went off and did the accounts, um, arranged coffee breaks, and did various things like this. But if for their own reason they want to be in the room, then they set an example of being disciplined uh, in the room. Uh, another very important part of an example for um, organizers to set, uh, they're, they're in all workshops which work really, really well and are successful over a lot of time, the amount of gossip allowed isn't zero, none. Uh, promoters don't get themselves involved in gossip. Uh, why will be better understood uh, by anyone who has done the Trances training where there are very clear demonstrations that telling a story of somebody 
while they're outside of the room, completely changes their identity, even though they didn't physically hear of the story. Um, you know, the power of gossip to mold people and cause damage is quite great. It's simple to prove, and you know, this isn't the video to actually make a demonstration of that. But organizers, just not knowing that, have no excuse to be involved in any type of uh, gossip. They must speak positively about the, um, the workshop itself, um, positively about the hopes of people, positively about all of the students. Now, if a student is going through a learning experience and having a really tough time, that's a really positive thing because he's there and he's working through something. Um, you know, what if some student says, why am I so slow? Well, the student who is slow to learn something, like, say, three hours to uh, learn a completely life-changing technique, they're probably <coughs> doing something that took me some years, and their three hours is just so fast it's not funny. Uh, so if one person is slower than another in one thing, it has zero meaning, because it's the fastest training on earth, and um, some other student might be slow at something and others as fast as that. All of it has no meaning and deserves no comment on the part of the organizer apart from speaking positive, positive suggestions that you will get through, that everyone will get through, um, that the results will happen, or go and get the coffee ready or do something else, but uh, never be involved in... Uh, uh, any um, negative suggestions about uh, anybody, um, even if someone says, oh, this is um, really strange, you know, I want to go home. Well, the organizers can simply, okay, so you uh, said this is strange at this minute and your feeling at this minute is you want to go home. Um, Okay, so um, let me know how that's going at the um, coffee break. I'll write down your situation so that this can be examined by the assistants at the end of the day or go and talk to an assistant because there's not all the assistants on the course. Uh, but only be involved in it um, um, positively. Uh, arriving early, staying till the end. Um, absolutely never any uh, coffee break or escaping uh, and explaining saying people need explanations is also only a way of escaping you know, the very finest uh, NLP trainers on earth uh, including the founders of NLP always send the students to exercises confused they never explain everything because it can't be done anything that could be explained and learnt by explanation would be taught by explanation. Everything that needs an exercise to learn, well, uh, the, the person cannot possibly have enough explanation to feel satisfied because it's something that can only be learned by doing the exercise. Um, you know, therefore, um, organizers simply facilitate uh, and uh, efficient, um, never make any chatting that's unnecessary, and um, you know, encourage everybody else to participate in the same way and in the coffee breaks the organizers will be uh, very positive um, only speaking of the coffee or how good it will be when you're using your results so that is number 11 in this series uh, producing atelier of power workshops number 11 promotion promoter behavioral examples